Okay, here we go. Chapter 3, Section 3, and you're simply multiplying by single digits. And in this section, they talk about um, different ways to do that. Thank you for, for doing that for me. I appreciate that. Uh, put up 20 points. Uh, so it says, Miss uh, Stockton ordered six boxes of t-shirts with the school name on them. Each box has 26 t-shirts. Uh, how many did she order? Well, one way to look at this is uh, breaking it down by the tens place. So it would be six times 20. And then the ones, which is going to be six times six. And so then you would just simply add them together for 156. Another way to do it, and that's probably the way a lot of you may have been taught, um, it's just 6 times 6, which is um, 36. You put down the 6 and carry the 3, which you can see there. And then 6 times 2 is 12. And then plus 3 more is 15 and then you get 156 t-shirts and so they just break it down in box C here on how to do that I think most of you know how to do that the convince me sharpen your pencil later thank you the convince me um, it says a student did the calculation at the right what did the student do wrong Take a look at that. For 20 points, I want to know what the student did wrong. Take a look at it. If, and the, sometimes the best way to figure out what a student did wrong is to do it yourself. 26 times 3. Mr. Camisa, can you see what they did wrong? Right, so 3 times 6 is 18, and they carried the 1, and then 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So the answer should be what? Seventy-eight. Do you see it now? Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I th you could write this down. So three times two equals six, comma plus one equals seven. I'll put a comma, not 9, which is what they had right there. Down below they have another example, it says 4 times 156, and you can see what they've done here, they've broke it down into four times the six ones and then four times the five tens and then four times the one one hundred if it helps you to think about it that way you can you can do that all right let's look at the guided practice here Um, number one, it says use place value to explain each step in finding three times 2,746. Here's what I would do if they're talking about place value, because it, does it, it doesn't necessarily ask you for the answer, but it's going to be three times, I'm going to deal with the six. 
I'll just say six ones. Then it's going to be three times four tens. And then three times seven hundreds. Is that my phone? Yeah. Reminding me we got lab here in a few minutes. And then finally, three times two thousands. Okay, and then two through five says find each product. So the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. And so you would just do 23 times four. And then it says, then it says estimate to check to see if your answer is reasonable. And I, I think that's always probably a good thing to do. So let's, let's just do this first here. I'm going to go right over here because there isn't much room to work. 23 times 4. So 4 times 3 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. The answer is 92. Now, if you were to estimate, I would kind of think of it this way. I would just go 20 times 4. All right, so 20 times 4, well, what's 2 times 4? That's 8. So 20 times 4 would be 80, and 80 is fairly close to 92, so I'm probably okay with my answer. When they say to estimate, that's kind of what they're thinking you should do. And I would only bother estimating if I think I'm, you know, maybe made a mistake or I wasn't too sure of my answer. But the answer to number two is 92. But estimating is an excellent way to check. All right, let's move down a little bit further here. Independent practice. How about number 12? Let's take a look at number 12. So we have 1,000. 445 and that's being multiplied by 5. Now you could multiply 5 by 5 ones and 5 by 4 tens and 5 by 4 one hundreds and 5 by 1000 and add those up. That's one way to do it. So what's so five ones, I could just put that right here, is five. And what's five times four tens? That's going to be 40, right? And what's five times 100? Or five, five times four one hundreds? Um, did I do that right? Am I thinking correctly? Maybe not. F five. Yeah, five times. No, I did that wrong. Um, five times five ones would be... 25 and 5 times 40 yeah I don't think I'm going to explain it that way I might yeah I'm going to hold off on that let's just go back and do it this way what's 5 times 5 put down the whoops Put down the 5, carry the 2. What's 5 times 4? 20. 20. Plus 2 is? 22. 
So put down the 2 and carry the 2. What's 5 times 4 again? 20. 20 plus 2 is? 22. Put down the 2 and carry the 2. What's 5 times 1? 5. Plus 2 more is? 7. And so what number was that? 12? Yes. So 7,000. 225. The other way I was starting to explain would be five times five ones and then five times four tens and then five times four hundreds and then finally five times one thousand And then you could figure out which each one of those equal, and then you would just add them up. All right, um, let's look at the problem solving. Let's see here, use the information in the pictures below to find each mass. So the elephant seal, Here's an elephant seal. Elephant seal is eight times as much as a zebra. So what's the mass of the zebra? So that's going to be, uh, for number 14, it's going to be 435 times eight. That would be the answer to number 14. Number 15 talks about a sports car. And um, it says sports car is four times as much as a zebra. Well, the zebra is 435, and it's four times as much as that, so it's going to be times four. Question. Time for math that we're doing. Okay, um, number 16, bison. I think you guys can figure that one out. Seventeen. Uh, last year, Anthony's grandmother gave him 33 silver coins and 16 gold coins. Wow, to start a coin collection. She must be wealthy. Now Anthony has six times as many coins in his collection. How many coins does Anthony have in his collection? Well, first off, you're going to have to total how many coins he had, because they're not talking about whether they're silver or gold. And then it's six times as many, whatever that total is. And so the question is, is how many does he have in his collection? Um... I'm not so worried about this. If you want to use that, you can. I don't really care. And you don't need to complete the bar diagram. All right, 18. You'll have to flip back in your book to see exactly what the distributive or commutative properties are. Uh, 19. Uh, do you think you could use multiplication? Use a multiplication algorithm to multiply a four-digit number by a one-digit number. Explain. A four-digit number by a one-digit number. Could you use a multiplication algorithm? I, well, if I understand the question correctly, if I just made up a four-digit number, like two, eight, nine, seven, and by a one-digit number, 
times 2. Could I use a multiplication algorithm to solve that? I, I would say yes. So, yeah. Not quite sure what they're asking there. Okay, I think that's it. Um, 20 and 21 you guys should be able to do. And I'm going to end the video here. It is time for the computer lab.